Good morning, everyone. How are you all? Okay. Be ready with your book, rough notebook, and one pen. So, last class we were discussing the second chapter. Is it not? Are you all remembering that? Yes. What is the name of the chapter then? Yes. It is the globe, latitude, and longitudes. So it's the name of a chapter what we started to discuss in the last class. So what is globe? What do you mean by globe? Yes, globe is nothing but it is a true model of earth. It is a true model of a earth. Then what are the things we can get from the globe? The knowledge is not. We can get a use, we can get information about the exact size of a continent, countries and the oceans and the position which is placed in the particular places is it not? so that's about uh, we discuss about the globe then the two important things the globe is about latitude and longitude which is not there on the earth's surface everything we can see is like a brief view you cannot see everything which is present on the earth's surface on the globe we can see the briefly things the very important things on the globe you have to the surface you the globe but the important thing is that we can globe the globe. That is, globally, actually, yaudu illa adu important eradi da. Yeno latitude and longitude. These are the two important things what we have the globe. And this both things like latitude, longitude alone that gives information and it has its own reference, it has its own value, values, it has its own worth. Is yes, that gives some use for us? So it said has its own worth. The latitude about we discussed about the latitude that latitudes for now we are continuing, is not? We are discussing about this latitude. So in this latitude, we got information like a definition. What is a latitude? What? Is there any problem? Okay. So, so in the latitude, we discuss about what is latitude, what are the importance of latitude, how much, then what is latitude? What is latitude? Yes, it is an imaginary line. The first answer should be it is an imaginary line. Latitudes are not drawn on that surface, it is only drawn on map and globe. It is an imaginary line. line which is drawn on the global map and these latitudes, how many latitudes are there? Yes, we have 180 latitudes. No problem. Okay. So here we have 180 latitudes. So these latitudes are, are also called as circle. This all the latitudes are not in the same line or same length, it's not having the same length because in the equator, suppose it is an equator, it is not. The equator, what? The length of this equator, like uh, this latitude is, is not equal to the latitude which is there in the northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere. As the latitude number increases, the length of a latitude decreases because it is not the, uh, like a same size, it is spherical and as we go towards the south and north, it decreases. So the reason it is not in the same length, the latitudes are not in the same length. Every latitude gives information about change in a temperature. As we go towards the north, temperature decreases as number of latitude increases. From 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it is increasing, is it not? Number of latitude increasing. So as the number of latitude increases, temperature decreases. In 90th latitude, 90th latitude where it is? It is in northern pole and southern pole. So it's, it receives very low temperature. Lowest latitude means lowest value latitude is a zero degree. That is used highest temperature. That's what we discuss. So we discuss about the five important latitudes. What are those five important latitudes? First one, equator. Then Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle, then Antarctic Circle. That's what we discuss. Those five important latitudes you must remember. 
And uh, where is the Tropic of Cancer located? In which hemisphere? Which hemisphere of Tropic of Cancer is located? North or South? In the Northern Hemisphere, Tropic of Cancer. In Southern Hemisphere, Tropic of Capricorn. Arctic Circle in Northern Hemisphere, Antarctic Circle in Southern Hemisphere. So, the last class we are continuing with this discussion about this latitude, about the heat zone. We were discussing about heat zone. So, how many heat zones we have? How many heat zones? So here, how many is a equator? The Tropic of Capricorn, Tropic of Cancer. What is the value, for, value of these two Tropic of Capricorn Cancer? 23 degree, 30 minute south and here north. Then Arctic Circle, then Antarctic Circle. These are the two important, other important circles. Like what is the value of this Arctic Circle? A 66 degree, 30 minute, otherwise half minute north and here south. These are the five important latitudes. So here we have a zero degree latitude. These are the we call it as a name with the equator. So these are the five important latitudes. So these latitudes are called as important because this latitude plays a boundary for the particular temperate zone. Like here, from this 23 degree from north hemisphere to the 23 degree southern hemisphere, the both here input in these two. We experience a different climatic changes here. That means in this zone or in this area that prevails a similar temperature. Always it will be high temperature. Always in this area we receive high temperature. Because the sunlight that directly falls on this area. That means in this zone. So, we have given a name for that. What is torrid zone? That's about torrid zone. Torrid zone. is not the first one. We are discussing about torrid zone. The zone or the area. We may say it is a zone or area which which lies in between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is called as Torrid Zone. Here, this area or this zone that receives highest temperature throughout the year because the sunlight that falls directly at this area or this zone. So it is called as Torrid Zone. Torrid Zone is the zone which reaches highest temperature. This zone receives highest temperature throughout the year. So it's called as torrid zone. Every time, every day in the year, it will be high in the temperature because as I told, that is just direct sunlight. The sunlight that falls directly on these areas. It's about the torrid zone. Right on this. So you should write along this picture and make us some place to draw this diagram. Make some, do some space for drawing this diagram. Then draw the diagram with this name of Tropic of Cancer, Arctic Circle, Antarctic Circle and the equator with the name all those things you have to do that. It's about torrid zone. It's a heat zone we are discussing. Heat zone is a different. In the earth surface, we are receiving a different temperature. High temperature, low temperature. The earth surface is getting heat in a different, like a, a different places are getting different heat on the earth surface. So based on that we have classified or we have divided that into three. One is storage zone. That's in between this Tropic of Cancer and Cap, uh, Tropic of Capricorn. Is that all? Have written? Okay. Then we will go for the next one. It's about Temperate Zone.
temperate zone. So temperate zone like the zone which lies in between the Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. It is called as the temperate zone. The zone or the area, you may say it's zone or area which lies which lies in between tropic of tropic of cancer and arctic circle in northern hemisphere in northern hemisphere and tropic of capricorn and in between tropic of capricorn and antarctic circle in southern hemisphere is called as temperate zone so this temperate zone it receives moderate temperature then this torrid zone this receives a moderate, moderate temperature why so because the sunlight that slightly falls on these areas this zone this because we have two these zones receives moderate temperature throughout the year because these areas, these both the areas in between this Tropic of Capricorn and Arctic Circle Antarctic Circle and Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle that receives modern temperature because that gets a slanting rays this This zone receives slanting rays of sun. So that reason these zones always remains moderate. Here it is a earth. Here we have equator. As I told, it is tilted. Our earth is tilted, is not. And here we have a sun. The sunrise falls directly on this area in this zone. It falls. So these zones that receives the slanting, it don't directly fall on that area in this surface, in this both surface, our temperate zone. Because it is tilted, sunrise that falls in a slant manner. So here, say it's a slant it falls in the slanting ways. So that reason these zones will not receive direct sun rays. It receives a slanting sun rays. So that's the reason it prevails with a very moderate temperature. Because of the slanting rays falls on that it receives moderate temperature throughout the year. So this zone which lies in between the Tropic of Cancer and the Circle in the Northern Hemisphere we have two zones of this one in the northern hemisphere one in the southern hemisphere in the temperate zone are two torrid zone are one further we can divide the torrid zone into two one is in the northern hemisphere in between this equator to the tropic of cancer another one in between the arctic uh, what you call the equator and tropic of capricorn there are two torrid zones but we can consider it as one only one torrid zone or one zone in the temperate zone we have a two one is in the northern hemisphere, one is in the southern hemisphere. Is that over? Write down. Write down these points. Is that over? Okay. That's what I got the two layers are two zones 
two areas which we use a different temperature we discuss now it's about the third one is called as frigid zone further in this frigid zone we have two uh, two divisions one in the northern hemisphere one in the southern hemisphere so it's called as frigid zone the zone or the area the same the area of the zone the zone which lies just you to change the place name that's it but it's the same definition for this temperate zone and frigid zone the zone which lies in between arctic circle and northern pole in north pole in northern hemisphere then in between antarctic circle and south pole in southern hemisphere so it's called as the frigid frigid zone so why do you call it as frigid because this zones this area that receives always low temperature means sunlight doesn't fall on this directly for the 6 months in a year the sunlight will not fall at all on this areas for the only 6 month they get up is this area will be prevented by the sun rays that too very slant then this temperature it's very slant that that, that doesn't affect anything in the sunlight but they can get a light that's it so here because of that this zone is covered filled by the ice because it remains low temperature because of low temperature this area always cool so these zones receives very low temperature or sun rays very low and slanting sun rays so it is covered by ice it is that is the zones northern pole southern pole they are like a frigid zone it's covered by the ice because it is receiving very slant and a very low temperature so that's the reason it's covered by the ice so it's called as a frigid zone it's receives very low slanting sun rays so it's so that's the reason it's covered by the ice so further in this frigid zone we have our two divisions so what are those yes one is in the north hemisphere another one is uh, another is in southern hemisphere these are the two like a uh, frigid zones frigid zone what we have where the zones which receives very tem low temperature and which is covered by the ice very low temperature we can notice that here we have highest value latitude 90 in between 80 and 90 we have highest value latitude but it's very low temperature here very low latitude low value latitude like 0 to 3 to 23 it's very low but here it's very high temperature so that's what as a, as the value of latitude increases temperature decreases means that shows that's it it doesn't make any changes but for our understanding we have drawn this latitudes on the globe and map is it over red right. then it's about the latitudes i hope you understood about latitudes important of latitudes the line circle which is drawn on the globe it's not simply drawn everything it has a uh, value and everything that gives information even in the map also 
Uh, many things will be there, some dot, many things on the map. So every dot and every some single scratch it may be, everything that gives information. As like in the group, it's a basic one what we are discussing. That you should you, you must know the importance of this latitude alone and as well as the longitude. Is that clear? Okay. We'll go for next. The longitudes. Now we discuss about the latitudes and it's important and the important latitudes there are five and that five latitudes are giving reference or that gives reference towards the change like uh, the zones temperate zone like height zones what we discussed about this latitude now we go for discussing about the longitude next concept is about longitudes what do the concept mean longitudes the concept itself that gives information long long it's very long it's a long latitude latitude lateral lateral it's a latitude long it's a longitude so you can in this way you can remember the name or you can you'll get a confusion you know most of the people they get a confusion in between this latitude and longitude most of the people they will make a ulta Instead of a latitude, they will write information about longitude. In place of longitude, they will write information about latitude. So it should not happen. For that, you can remember with some word, your own word, like a latitude. Latitude is a lateral, lateral latitude. Longitude, long. It's very long. It's a long. So here, what is longitude? What is a longitude? Yes, longitude is on imaginary lines. As like a latitude. Longitudes also imaginary line. These longitudes are drawn from north to south. These longitudes are drawn from north to south. Long longitudes. These all the longitudes are called as a line. We call it as a line. Why? Because it intersect each other. It connects each other. In the point. Where is that point? Yes, it is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Both there, these both lines, end of this line, it, it intersect or it connects. So that reason we call it as a lines. So here in the long, the latitudes, once you draw, start to draw from here, you will get in there after completion of one road. It will not be intersected with any other latitudes. But here, in the both the pole, north pole, southern pole, it will be intersected. So it's called as lines these lines are equal every lines are equal but here it's not like that it's not equal latitudes are these are an imaginary line imaginary lines which are drawn from north that means north pole north pole to south pole and these are as I told lines because I have spread this one it will not interesting it's a line these are lines and uh, there are 360 latitudes, longitudes, sorry, longitudes. There are 360 longitudes. How many latitudes we have? 180. So longitudes are 360. These longitudes are drawn. Same like a latitude, only on globe and maps. Same like a latitude, longitudes are also imaginary line, and it is line actually, not like a circle as like latitude, it is a line. There are 360 longitudes and same like a latitude, it is drawn only on map and globe because it's an imaginary line. Because it's imaginary line. 
drawn from North Pole. It is North Pole and South Pole. Here we have South Pole and North Pole. Is it not? We have 360 longitudes. It's drawn only only map and globe. And these are all lines. It's a basic information. It's a basic information about longitudes. So these all the longitudes are also called as meridians. Longitudes are also called as meridians. Are also called as meridian. We have two main known for longitude. One is you can say it's a lines and and also meridians, lines and meridians. It's about the four points. Basic information about longitude and this longitude that gives information about the time. Every latitudes are important for or every latitude, longitudes, every longitudes. gives or records, gives information information about time it's very important as like a latitude latitude that gives information about change in temperature we discuss that gives information about change in temperature here every longitude that gives information about time change in time every longitude that records the time Every longitude records time. Right on this. Have you done? Right on. Is it over? Okay. So how this longitudes that use information about time and how it will be calculated? So how many hours does our earth take to complete one rotation? 24 hours, isn't it? So this, the longitudes are divided into 24 hours. Like this 24 hours is divided into 360 longitudes or 360 pieces you may say. So this, the duration in between these two latitudes or longitudes are 4 minutes. That means, uh, if you are standing here, suppose if you are standing over here, if you want to pass the line, it takes 5 minutes. Means, suppose, uh, the duration, like duration in between these two lines is 4 minutes. So that means it takes 15 latitudes, sorry, longitudes. It takes 15 longitudes to complete one hour. 15 into 24, 360. Is it not? So we have a 360 longitudes. Every longitude that gives information about time. So here, as like the latitude which shows 0 degree. It's a starting point of 0 degrees not. It's a latitude. It has 0 degree. It's a starting point. It ends in the 90 in the southern pole. It ends in the 90 in the northern pole both. Same like that we have a 0 degree in the latitudes. So we have a 0 degree that means it shows a 0 value. There are words. It starts from 1, 2, 3 in western direction. And in the same opposite direction. Suppose it's the zero degree, zero degree, longitude, longitude in the same opposite direction. Here, it records 180. 
from there to here again 180 that means 360 towards this it's a west direction is not the left of me it's a west sorry east and right of me it's a west is not so as we go towards east direction the same opposite one line you will get a 180th latitude and if you move towards the west direction Ulta from 360 to 359, 358 like that, you will get a 380 the same line. Is not? If you go towards the, towards the west direction, you will get a 188 line, and if you go towards the east direction, you will get a 180th line. Both in the same direction because this line divides earth into two equal of longitude, like the zero degree longitude is. 0 degree longitude is called as prime meridian prime meridian why why do you call it as a prime meridian because every longitudes are called as meridian prime like a starting point is not it is a basic point it's a prime meridian so for this prime meridian we have a name as like this latitude 0 degree we have a name what is the name for that equator is not we have a name for this equator equal divider same like that in the latitude which shows 0 degree we have a name for that it's called, it's called as Greenwich Mean Time Greenwich why because the 0 degree Latitude, longitude, what is prime meridian? Prime meridian passes through Greenwich City. In London. In the London, in the Greenwich City, we have Royal Observatory. British Royal Observatory, the Green City, uh, Greenwich. So there we have a Royal Observatory. From there this longitude passes, so it is called as Greenwich Meridian. Thank you. 